Good morning, everyone. My name is Tanisha Burke, and today we're going to talk about the Just Ask Peak Interest script. Um, this script is money in the bank. This is gold because as we are Planet Marketing representatives, our main goal is to simply find out who is looking to for ways to make money, who is open to looking at an opportunity to earn extra income. So getting started, there is a difference between marketing and prospecting. And what I have found is that a lot of people are marketing and they're wondering what's happening, why their business isn't growing. It's because all they're doing is marketing. So what is marketing? The management process through which goods and services move from concept to the customer. Key word here is concept. So when you do a post on Facebook, for example, you are marketing. You're saying, hey, if you're open to looking to make some extra income, private message me. If you are not a person of influence, you may not get a whole bunch of responses. If you are a person of influence, you will get a lot of, ex um, a lot of responses. Um, perfect example, just to give you guys an example, um, prior to me getting started in this business, I was in a health and wellness business. I was a wellness coach and I really built that business on social media. So I had a lot of people, I had like 10,000 people following me on social media, asking me for advice on what they should eat, how they should exercise, all that good stuff. So once I teamed up with a health and wellness marketing company, that sold vitamins and shakes and you know energy drinks, it was really great because at that point I had become a person of influence. So if I had posted a Facebook post that said, hey, drink this um, energy drink, it's really good if you're interested, private message me, I had like a whole bunch of people hit me up, like yeah, 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 right? But let's say if Iris, right, Iris McCoy did the same exact post, she might get nothing, right? Because in the field of health and wellness, she did not have influence. So marketing, marketing is great for people of influence, not so good for people who don't. Then we talk about prospecting, a term used to refer to activities um, that have to do with finding prospects. Keyword, activities right this is now you are being intentional you're going to the person to find a prospect the great thing about prospecting it works for everyone whether you have influence or not so you want to spend more time prospecting than you do marketing so it's the 80 20 rule 80 percent of your time should be spent prospecting prospecting while 20% of your time should be spent helping your team, right? I don't want you guys to ever feel like, oh, well, I don't want to leave my team behind. No, if you do what you're supposed to do in the beginning with onboarding them, plugging them into the system, making sure they know when the calls are happening, when the meetings are, you know, where the resources are, the tools, then you're supposed to spend the rest of your time prospecting and let that person know, Okay, I've plugged you in. If you have any questions, raise your hand. I will come back to you, coach, train, and develop you, but then you go right back to prospecting. So this script is, like I said, money in the bank, whether you have influence or not. The way this script is written right now is for, let's say on Facebook, we all have people that we're friends with, but we're not, we don't have a personal relationship with them, right? We don't really know them in real life. So this is a script that you would use in Messenger. Hi, Iris, how are you? I know we don't really know each other, but I just wanted to reach out to see if you were open to what it is that I'm doing to make extra money, create residual income, and travel more without it interfering with what you're currently doing. If you're open to it, I'd be happy to share a little more information. If you're not, no worries, totally cool, and it's still nice to be connected with you on here. It is right to the point. People don't have a lot of time, so you don't wanna beat around the bush. You don't wanna say, hey, how are you? You know, what's going on? How was your day? 
people are, are skeptical and suspect of you if you do that. But this is straight to the point. So Iris is going to either tell me, yes, yeah, she's open or no, she's not. But Iris loves me, so she's going to say yes. <laughs> and then I'm going to respond, great, I have an appointment I have to get ready for right now, but if I send you a quick video, how soon can you watch it? Whatever time Iris says that she's going to watch my video, then I'm going to put it on my calendar on my phone so that I don't forget to follow up with her. Remember, I said I had an appointment. So if Iris says, oh, I can watch it right now, then I'm going to put on my calendar, follow up with Iris at 9.30 or follow up with Iris at 10 o'clock, just so I can keep track. The reason you say, I have an appointment right now, you always want to be busy. If you don't make it seem like you're busy, then they're gonna corner you and start asking you a whole bunch of questions. Well, what is it? How much does it cost? Da, 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 right? And if you are a brand new business partner, you're not prepared to answer those questions. So no matter what, you always have an appointment that you have to get ready for. The other thing is people love to do business with people that are busy, <laughs> right? It shows them that their business is working, they're making money. If you have all the time in the world to just sit there and message back and forth, you must not be making any money. So great, I have an appointment I have to get ready for right now, but if I send you a quick video, how soon can you watch it? She tells me she can watch it in 15 minutes. I'm gonna put it on my calendar, follow up with her in 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna send her the two videos. Here are two short videos, 4.15 minutes and three minutes to review. After watching, let me know if this is something you're interested in learning more about. So you can send this via the mobile app so that you can track whether or not they watch it. You're gonna send the preview ITA, and you're gonna send the preview rep please make sure you have watched both of these videos so that you know exactly what you are sending your prospect. Now, I gotta be honest with you. When I'm sending this in Messenger, I don't use the app. I don't use the app because at this point, the person doesn't know me. They may be a little skeptical about giving me their phone number. And really, I just wanna know if they're interested in learning about the business. So. I'm okay personally with sending these to without using the mobile app. If they are interested, once I set the appointment for the three-way call, I'm going to get their phone number for the call, and then I'm gonna send them the last video via the app, because I really wanna know if they've watched it. But for the preview, I'm just putting some feelers out there to see if they're interested. Now I'm gonna follow up with them. After having watched the videos, is this something you'd be interested in learning more about? They're either gonna tell me yes, or they're gonna tell me no. Doesn't matter, it's like, tell me yes, tell me no, tell me quick, I gotta go. But Iris loves me, so she's gonna say yes. And then I'm gonna say, great, when are you available for a call so we can discuss further and you can decide if this opportunity is a good fit for you or maybe someone you know. I love the way this is written because it takes the pressure off of them feeling like, oh, this is going to be a pressured, a high pressured sales pitch and I'm going to try to get them, get them to sign up. No, it really shows that I'm going to answer their questions and it might not be for them. It could be for somebody else. So it's, it's just low key. There's no pressure, right? No high sales pitch. So Ira sets up the appointment with me. She tells me she's going to be ready tonight at six o'clock. And now I'm gonna use the mobile app. Here's a more detailed video, 10.54 minutes, to watch and write down any questions. I'll be sure to answer them on the call. And then I'm sending Iris the big picture video. I look forward to speaking with you. I always put the time of how long the video is because people are busy. How many of you have had someone prospect you and they send you a video, it's like 40 minutes. It's like you have to practically schedule time to watch it. So I let them know that these are really short videos. You don't have, you know, you can do this while you're cooking dinner or listen to it on the way home from work. It's not a lot of time. So I love to put that in there. Now, if you send the initial and they are not interested. If I send, you know, hey, Iris, just wanted to reach out. And she says, oh, thank you, Tanisha, but I'm not really interested. I got a lot going on right now, maybe in the future. Then I'm going to send her this. Hey, no problem. If you know of anyone looking to travel more and make some extra money, 
If I showed them step-by-step -step how to do it, please let me know. Also, if you have any upcoming trips that you are planning, please give me the opportunity to win your travel business. You can register on my travel website at tanishaburk.intellitravel.com for exclusive travel deals, promotions, and specials. <clears throat> what I love about this business is that we have two businesses. This business is not for everyone. Not everyone wants to be an entrepreneur. So even if they don't want to partner with us in this business, we can still um, have them as a travel client. Now, other ways that you can use this script, I want you to think outside the box. How many people are following you on Instagram? You can you know, direct message this to anybody in Instagram. How many people are you connected with on LinkedIn? Um, you can send this message in LinkedIn. I love using LinkedIn because everybody on LinkedIn is a professional, everybody. People go on LinkedIn to find jobs, promotions. There's a lot of CEOs, directors of this, presidents of that, and those people love residual income. So I love using this script on LinkedIn. You can use this script with every single person in your cell phone contact. I'm sure just like me, some of you have people in your phone that you have not told about this business. You can now just literally start from the A's and go all the way down and send this message. And then of course you have your Facebook groups. Now, if you know the person, and I'm gonna go back to this script in the beginning, if you know the person, let's say it's your cousin who you have not exposed to the business, you're just gonna take out the part that says, I know we don't really know each other, right? Because that would be weird to send that to your cousin. So you're just gonna say, hey, Chris, how are you? I just wanted to reach out to see blah, 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 okay? Now, <clears throat> I wanna talk about how to use this in Facebook groups and this way you will never ever run out of people because if you're running with this business if you are truly trying to become financially free and get everything you want out of this business my suggestion is that you set a goal to send this message out to at least 50 people every single day i wouldn't do more than 50 in one sitting because facebook might put you in jail um, but maybe you do, you send it out 25 times in the morning and to 25 different people before you go to bed. You got your 50. You could find pockets of time. If you're at work and you on your 15 minute break, you could probably send out, you know, 20 of these just during your 15 minute break. It's really easy. But with Facebook groups, so I want you all to think about any type of special interests or hobbies that you have right? Maybe you love do-it-yourself projects. Maybe you love, um, <clears throat> you know, pets, or maybe you love swimming or fishing, whatever special interest you have. I promise you there is a Facebook group for that special interest. So let's say, for example, I love wine, which I do, excuse me. <clears throat> I love wine, so I'm going to join a wine group on Facebook. I'm going to use that. And, and because I love wine, it's going to make it really easy for me to engage with people in that group, right? So I'm going to instantly love liking people's posts, right? Or um, commenting on people's posts. I may even initiate some of my own posts because I already share that common interest. So it makes it really easy to engage. And especially if you're using Facebook to build your business, Facebook is based on engagement. The more you engage with people, the higher your algorithm is. Meaning the more you engage with people, the more Facebook allows other people to see what you're doing. So for example, if you just do a post on Facebook that just has words, your algorithm is low. If you do a post on Facebook with words and you add a picture, your algorithm goes up a little more. If you do a Facebook post with words and you add a video, your algorithm goes a little bit higher. If you go live on Facebook, Facebook is like, yes, someone went live and they let more people see your stuff. But they also don't want you just putting out information, they want to see you engaging with other people and they want to see other people engaging with you. 
So if you're getting that back and forth with people, people are commenting on your stuff, you're replying and commenting back, and you're doing videos, your algorithm is super, super high, and Facebook allows more people to see it. So let's say Tanisha joined the Wine Club of Central Florida group. And I'm in that group, and I see um, Dale makes a comment about this new Moscato. Well, I'm going to love his post, right? I'm going to like it, love it, put a heart, or say, oh, this is good. I'm going to try that wine. And then I'm going to private message him in Messenger saying, hi, Dale, how are you? I know we don't really know each other, but I just wanted to reach out to see if you were open to what it is I'm doing to make extra money, create residual income, and travel more without it interfering with what you're currently doing. If you're open to it, I'd be happy to share. If not, totally cool. It's still nice to be connected with you in the Wine Club of Central Florida group. You see, me and Dale are not friends on Facebook, but when he sees that, when Dale sees that I'm in the Wine Club of Central Florida group, and we share that in common, Dale's gonna be, be more open to responding to my post and saying, yeah, sure, I'll check it out. Cause it's not like, who's this strange woman, <laughs> you know, private messaging me. We're not even friends on Facebook, but because we have the wine club in common, Dale's gonna be more open to uh, what it is that I have to share. So let me tell you, that wine club of Central Florida group probably has like 50,000 people in it. So there's not going to be any shortage of people to send 50 messages out to a day. So I want you to think outside of the box of any special interests, um, hobbies that you have, and join those groups, engage in those groups, and tweak this message so that you can send it to them. All right? Questions? If you have a question, please unmute yourself. Okay, I want feedback. Good morning, Director Tanisha. This is Deirdre. Hi, Deirdre. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Um, I don't know if you already mentioned this, but will you be sharing the slide after? Or because I know you're yeah. recording it because I yeah. wanted to get it all down and I'm trying to type it. <laughs> I yeah. just thought, okay, great. Thank you. You're it's welcome. great so far. I'm learning a lot. I'm going to do this today, so I'm excited. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yes, I'm, I'm recording it, and I will uh, share it in the legacy group. Any other feedback or questions? Great job, Tanisha. This is Danny. Hi, Danny. Dan how are you? Dale's other half is here on, on his laptop. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So you found this helpful? I, very much so. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Any other questions, hey. feedback? Hey, Tanisha, how you doing? Hey, how are you? <laughs> this is Dale. This is Dale. Oh, there is Dale. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, I, I just want to kick in and say you're doing an awesome job. This is really helpful to this morning, I really appreciate what you're doing. Awesome. This you is amazing. Welcome. You are very welcome. Man, if everybody in Planet was doing this, we'd be in momentum in no time. Exactly. We just got to kick it in the mood. This is, this is great. Absolutely. A's iPad. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this, is, this information is really, really, is the bond. Thank just you. in two words it's just the bomb and the 50 um people a day this will really really make it really simple mm -hmm. straight to the point so thank you so so much you're welcome you're welcome i just i have found that with network marketing because believe it or not most people who join network marketing are kind of introverts <laughs> right um they're not the people who are out and about you know it's not a whole bunch of blues that are just out there networking and meeting people most people are you know they're they're stay-at-home parents or you know they just go to work and come home they don't have a big network of people and we all know in network marketing your network is your net worth you have got to get out there and speak to people but if that has never been your life 
you're scared to death when you get in network marketing because you don't know what to say. So mm -hmm. I love this script because it's simple to the point. It's not weird for anybody. Anybody can use it. You can enroll a stay at home mom who's homeschooled her kids for the last 17 years. She has no network right? All she knows is Barney and whatever cartoon is out there. And she could still build a successful business, especially on social media, just by using this script. She doesn't have to have any influence. So I love this script. I'm telling you, it's money in the bank. Tanisha, I have a question. This is Danny. Hey, Danny. Hey, um, if you have recently met someone on Facebook, um you know say like yesterday and they you know responded back to your accepted your friend request um would it be okay to immediately put this script in the inbox and send it off to them absolutely what i usually would do is i go to their personal page and uh -huh. i'll start liking some stuff and you know putting okay. some hearts and commenting and stuff and then i send them the message okay gotcha. just, just to show okay. that i'm engaging with them a little bit and they see my name pop up on their notification oh tanisha liked your post tanisha liked you know commented on this whatever and then i'll jump in and hit them in the inbox i usually try to do that do i do it all the time no sometimes i go straight to the point because i'm running <laughs> right <Okay. laughs> but um yeah it's nice to kind of engage on their page a little bit and then send them the message just so you kind of pop up okay so and when you say engaging um when it comes to facebook you also have to be engaged yourself correct and they'll you know, maybe putting a couple posts online per day things oh, of that nature absolutely you're you want to use your personal facebook page to to market the most so okay. like, for example in the mornings i haven't done it in a while but i post every single day on my personal page but okay. usually sometimes we'll either do like something inspirational, um, take a selfie of myself and put something up there, but I always do a call to action with it. So I may put up a selfie in the morning that says, you know, if you woke up too blessed to be stressed, say good morning. Because the call to action is I want them to comment, say good morning, you know, good morning. Oh, and gotcha. I can respond because now we're engaging with each other and that increases my algorithm. Awesome. As opposed to me just putting up a meme that says something great and then that's it. It says something great. So people are reading it. You might get some people who like it. But if I put a call to action, you know, if you're happy that today is Friday, say good morning. Or, you know, happy hump day. If you can't wait until Friday to the weekend, say good morning. I want to get people to type good morning so that I can respond back. And now that increases my algorithm because we are engaging with each other. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Tanisha, can you hear me? Hey, Daryl. Yes, I can. How you doing? I am fabulous. Awesome. Awesome. Well, first of all, I want to reiterate what everyone has talked, what everyone has said in regards to this has been very helpful. I know there are several people on the line that are actually really working in business, but I know that we're not moving like we would, would like we would love to. And with this information right here, it has been very helpful. So I definitely want to reiterate, thank you so much for sharing this with the, with the big team. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Director Burke, good morning. Hey, Colette. How are you? Good. I just wanted to say that this is great because a lot of times with me, the struggle is knowing exactly what to say and how to say it on social media. So this is really good. And the script is going to be very helpful for our numbers. Absolutely. Absolutely. This should definitely um, be able to help you guys hit your next pin levels pretty much with ease. You know, it's still going to take time, obviously, but you're going to be able to prospect so many more people than you're probably prospecting now. In 50, that's, that's really a baseline. Like I said, if you do it consistently, I know I've sent out 50 in two hours. So look at your calendar and how many hours you're saying that you're going to dedicate to your business. And if you're that person that says, oh, well, I'm going to do... Um, you know, I can work my business 20 hours a week, right? If you can send out 25 in an hour and then you can do 25 times 20 hours a week, right? That's 500 people you've sent the message out to. 
that's a lot of people. And remember, we got to go through the numbers, right? Yes, ma'am. Here, here's a statistic that I want you guys to write down because it's really going to help put things in perspective for you. Two out of every 100 people that you speak to will be ready to sign up right away. Two out of every 100. So that means there's two people that woke up this morning that you may speak to who says, you know what? I'm ready to join a business. I need another stream of income. I just got to figure out which one I'm going to join. Two people. That's it. Five out of every 100 people you speak to will never, ever join this business no matter what. You could become a millionaire making, you know, Cedric White income, driving a Bentley, living in a mansion on the beach. They're never going to join because it's still a scam. It's still a pyramid and you're living a fake life, <laughs> right? They're just never going to join. So 93% of the people that you speak to either need more information or more time, 93%. So when I say more information, maybe you sent them the videos, but they really need to also get on a webinar, right? They're not quite getting it. Or maybe they're that person, they need to see it up close and in person, so you need to invite them to a meeting. Or maybe <clears throat> they need that three-way call, you know, with someone else to get their questions answered. Or they need more time. Maybe they have to wait until next Friday on payday. Or they're finishing up their real estate license and they just can't get into this right now until they finish that. Or they're finishing up school. They're finishing up their degree and they're like, let me get this off my plate and then I can take that, right? Or they need to watch you. <clears throat> there are some people that just need to watch you and see how long is she going to do this? Is she going to stop doing it in the next three months? Right. I, they want to see you become the evidence before they get started. So those 93%, typically it'll take them six months to a year to join your business. Six months to a year. That's been my personal experience, that once you plant the seed with someone, it takes them six months to a year to harvest. So if you're consistent, imagine starting today, you say, okay, Tanisha, every single day for the next year, I'm going to send out a minimum of 50 messages a day. That means a year from now, you should have people joining like this every single week because you've been that consistent right? So you have to go through the numbers because not everybody's going to be ready. Only 2% are going to be ready to join immediately. Only 2%. The 93% is going to take them <clears throat> sometimes six months to a year to uh, make that decision. Case in point, how long did it take Daryl to join the business once it was presented? <laughs> Absolutely. Right? <laughs> Right. It takes people and, and, and look at your own place. How long did it take all of you to join from the first time it was presented to you? Did you join right away? Matt, yes. you did. OK, so <laughs> you join right away. Anybody else join immediately? Yes, I did. This is Danny. OK, so Danny joined immediately. What's your name? Lisa Jones joined immediately. It took Daryl Drew 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, Lisa Jones joined immediately. Okay, so I think out of 17 of you, I think three or four of you joined immediately. The rest of you, it took time. You, you know, you needed either more time or more information. So don't expect or, or get discouraged when you do your three-way call and the person doesn't sign up. You did your job. Your role as a planet marketing rep is simply to get the information in front of them and then time will take care of the rest. All right. Any other questions? Oh, I have a question. Oh. Yes. This is Rich Yellow. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. So so um where where can I go to read up some more on the on, on the capabilities of um of, of the engines like Facebook, the, the LinkedIn, the, the Instagram. I know you got this information from somewhere. Uh, where, the, where can I go to, um, to do some additional research on it? On how to use those other social media platforms? Yes, ma'am. Uh, YouTube and Google. 
<laughs> yeah, this information. So most of the things that I come up with are things that I just trial and error. You know, I try some things. I was doing attraction marketing on Facebook before I even knew what attraction marketing was. I didn't know what it was. I was just, when I was doing my health and wellness business, I built that entire business on social media. So over, you know, trying some things out, things working, not working, I'm like, oh, okay, I got it. I got a rhythm with it. I did not study attraction marketing. I, it just something that I was doing. And then later, you know, a couple of years later, I heard people talking about attraction marketing and I'm like, well, what is that? And I'm like, oh, I've been doing that. I just didn't know what it was called. So yeah, you, you just, you, it's just, if you are engaged, if you're in, um, on the social media platforms, you just have to think like a prospect, right? If you were needing some extra money, what things would you do? where would you go to try to find that information? You know, anybody who wants to learn about a business or a product um, that are, I would say between the ages of 35 and up, they're pretty much on Facebook, right? The millennials are using Instagram and um, Snapchat and stuff like that. But our age group is on Facebook. I mean, when me and my husband have a DJ business and I had a, a lady call, and asking about our services, she didn't ask me for, well, do you have a reference? She said, do you have a Facebook page? Because that's where she was gonna go to learn about our services. So you want your Facebook page or any social media platform that you're on to be a wealth of information. It cannot be a giant billboard saying, join my business, join my business, join my business, because if you do that, you're only marketing to the 2%. You want to market to the 93% that need more information. So things that you should be posting on your social media are um, you know, things talking about the importance of having a plan B while you still have a plan A, right? Too many people saying, oh, I don't need it because I have a good job, and they're not realizing you should have a plan B because that good job may not be here tomorrow, right? You should be talking about the importance of having multiple streams of income, right? Doing some posts about that. Not necessarily saying, join my business, join my business, but just saying, you know, it's a good idea to have multiple streams of income for X, Y, Z. Talk about um, growing a business that doesn't require products, having to deal with inventory. Maybe you talk about, um, and you can talk about fun things, different ways to invest your tax return, right? Of course, one of those ways should be starting a home-based business, but there's other things that people can do with their tax return. And this way you're providing valuable information, but you're not saying, join my business, join my business, join my business. Maybe, you know, we have, uh, the kids are getting ready to get out of school in a couple of months. Right, we're travel professionals, so maybe you go live on Facebook and you talk about some uh, local places that you can take your kids during the summertime that don't require a passport or or road. It could be a road trip, right? Talk about stuff like that because that's going to make more people want to follow you on social media because your page becomes the place where they go to get valuable information. Maybe you talk about. Um, what's required to get a passport, right? Maybe you have a heading, you go live and your heading for your live is, do you have a pass, are you passport ready? Do you have a passport, right? And then you go live talking about the process and the cost and the documents needed to get a passport, right? And people are gonna start tagging other people that they've been saying, oh, you need to get your passport, right? They're gonna start tagging them in your video and saying, hey, here's where you need to go. And maybe you put a link to your IntelliTravel page where you can get passports, passport services, right? That's gonna increase your engagement. But again, now you become that person of valuable information. You become an influencer and not that person saying, join my business, join my business, join my business, because people hate that. They're like, all they're trying to do is sign people up. Mm -mm. You wanna become that person that provides value. And then you become an influencer. And then now when you, once in a while say, hey, 
If you're interested in earning extra income and traveling more, private message me. Now you're gonna have some people that trust you enough to private message you to inquire more. Does that make sense? It absolutely makes sense. Uh, thank you so much. I never heard of the term of traction marketing, so you gave me some additional info to run with. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, attraction marketing is kind of when you put some stuff out there and you attract the people that are looking for what you have to offer. Mm -hmm. Any That's other questions? I have a question. Yes. Going back to posting in the groups, mm -hmm. are we posting, are we like selecting people out of the group to send them direct messages? We're not posting that script or right right yeah so in groups you don't want to really post in other people's group about join your business because a lot of them have rules and then they kick you out mm -hmm. and then you you'll also end up with a whole bunch of people say oh that's a scam she's trying to you know that's one of them pyramid things so you got to be really careful with what you post um in the groups because you don't want to get negative press on your posts so you're just engaging in that group, right? You're a mom, so maybe you're in a group about moms. There's a ton of groups for moms, right? So you're engaging, hi, you know, liking people's posts, commenting, offering suggestions of stuff that moms do, whatever. And, and the people that are interacting with you, those are the ones that you private message through Messenger and use the script with. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. Right, what I love, so, Anytime you join a new group, um, introduce yourself in the group, right? And there's that one opportunity you get to kind of tell what you do without it feeling like you're, you know, going in there trying to sign people up, right? So if you join Wine Lovers of Central Florida group, right, or I join it, then I'm going to go in the group for the very first time and I'm going to say, Hey everyone, I'm new to the group. So happy to be here. Just a little bit about me. You know, I'm a wife, I'm a, I'm a mom, I'm a full-time entrepreneur, I'm a travel business owner, um, which, you know, allows me to, you know, earn extra income and travel more and taste all of these wines across the country. Looking forward to get to knowing everybody. Right? That may pique somebody's interest like, "Oh, you're a travel business owner or you know, something like that. So, you know, get kind of clever with how you introduce yourself <coughs> to the group and find a way to, you know, tweak it where you can say that you're a travel business owner. Not never a travel agent, always a travel business owner. Right. Or you could say, you know, I'm a marketing rep and I sell home based travel businesses, allowing people to travel more, um, save on their travel and create residual income or whatever. Right. However, you want to identify yourself, Eva. I always identify myself as a marketing rep, um, or you can say travel business owner. Uh, thank you. You're welcome, Tanisha. I have one more question. This is Danette. Yes, ma'am. Uh, when when it comes to the numbers, um, when you said the fifty or you know hundred or whatever it is that you send out per day. Is that a combination of, you know, between my cell phone? Because I, I, I have tons of people on my cell phone. Um, so is that cell phone and Facebook or is, you know, a combination of both? Or, you know, should I do 50 on Facebook and 50 in my phone? Or what, the what more is your... the merrier. However many you can get out, go for it. Okay. Do 50 on your phone and 50 on Facebook. That is phenomenal. Remember, there's 42,000 of us. And if you slow get into somebody, somebody else is going to get them. All right? Okay. You got somebody right. like a Tanisha Burke out there that's hitting up everybody. Uh, <laughs> right? So you don't want me to get to your people before I get to mine. We have to operate with a sense of urgency. Um, and I was talking to my team the other day. You know how every few weeks um, Planet Marketing puts out a banner, 39,000. 40,000, 41, 42. Everybody's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, holy crap, the window just got smaller. The window uh, just got smaller. Because okay. the time to become flat out wealthy is right now before we hit momentum. Before we hit momentum. 
And Mr. Bradley said, we're going to hit momentum. Like when we hit 100,000 people, we're going to be in momentum. I don't know if he's changed that, but I've heard him say that, that 100,000 is like the magic number. Mm -hmm. So, right. So we have to get it right now before we hit 100,000. If we have a desire to become flat out wealthy. Now is not the time to be spending all, in my opinion, is not the time to be planning group cruises and, and sending people to Jamaica. Like that's always going to be there. But the time to become flat out wealthy is, is a limited amount of time. It's, it's between now and 100,000 people. So our focus needs to be on that if, again, our desire is to become flat out wealthy. Why settle for a million dollars if you can make 20? Right? Absolutely. So every time you see that banner, I want you to look at that banner like, yay, that's nice. But I want you to say, okay, I need to kick it up another notch because we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. So find pockets of time. I, if you are anything like me, the first thing you do when you get up in the morning is grab this and go to the bathroom. <laughs> While you're sitting there, you could probably get 20 messages out without even thinking about it, right? Get them out. So you want to always find pockets of time. Like there should be no idle time watching TV. Even while you're watching TV, you could be sending out messages, right? If that's your little downtime. Get as many out as you can. If you can send 300 messages out a day, that's even better, right? It really depends on your schedule, but that needs to be the focus. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other Yes. This is Anitra. I have, Anitra Jones, I have a question about if we send the messages through Messenger, mm-hmm. will we get the notification that they've seen the vi- to watch the video? No. So what you can do is you can send it, act like you're sending it in a text message, and then you can take that text message and copy and paste that link in Messenger so that the app tracks it. Um, But as I stated earlier, when I first send the preview ITA and the preview script, I just copy, me personally, I just copy and paste it in Messenger. Because at that point, I'm not trying to ask them for their phone number. I just want to know if they're interested. Once they've watched the preview ITA and the preview rep, and they tell me, yes, I'm interested in learning more, then I'm going to schedule the three-way call and get their phone number. Now that I have their phone number, I'm going to use the app to send them the big picture video. I personally just want to make sure that they've watched the big picture video before the three-way call. So I want the app to track that. Okay. And okay. this way people don't feel weird giving me their number. Cause you know, there's a lot of fake people on, on Facebook and stuff like that. And so when you come out the gate asking for a phone number, some people feel strange about that. So True. I don't really care if they watch the preview ITA or preview web. I'm just going to ask them, are you interested in learning more? If they say yes, I know they've watched it, right? If they say no, then they're not interested. I don't care. But if they do say they're interested, I'm going to schedule the three-way call, in which case now I have their phone number, and then I'm going to text them and um, send them the big picture video. And I'm going to make sure that they've watched 100% of the big picture video before the three-way call. Okay. I have, another, oh, I'm sorry. I have another question, Director Burke. Yes. So the, the script is awesome, but what about the people that we have already peeped, like say through Facebook Messenger and we did it all wrong and mm-hmm. we wish we could go back and fix it. Can we fix it with this script? Absolutely. So one of the things you can do um, is send the peak video, right? there, Because you know, there's the peak ITA and then there's the preview ITA, right? Okay. So if you send them the peak, say, um, hey, Mary, check this out and let me know if this is something you're interested in. Okay. And just send it. Okay. Yeah, just send it. Um, because then they're going to be like, well, what is it? You know, and they're going to take a look at it and they may respond and they may not. It doesn't matter. The good thing is, even though you may have approached them wrong in the beginning, if you're friends with them on Facebook, they're watching. They've been watching. They see what you're doing. So just, just put it out there. 
and, and see who bites. Some will bite, some won't, don't matter. You just okay. keep it moving, right? Or there's also um, a follow-up script, and I'm gonna read this to you. Um, sometimes I use this. And I'll say, so let's say you sent it to Mary and you did it all wrong and nothing came about it or Mary ended up saying she wasn't interested. You could say, hey, Mary, uh, I have a friend that just booked her own vacation and saved $500. I know this opportunity is not a fit for you, but do you know of anyone that wants to travel more and earn extra income? Right, so you're kind of going through the back door saying, I know you're not interested in this, but just curious, do you know of anyone that is looking to earn some extra income and travel more? All right, so just ask for the referral. And you can come back and also say, do you have any upcoming trips that you're planning? Right, because if they say, well, yeah, actually, you know, we were thinking of, you know, going to Myrtle Beach this summer, and you can say, oh, well, you know, I can, I can plan that for you. By the way, just curious if I could show you a way to save money on this trip to Myrtle Beach, is that something you'd be willing to take a look at? Right? And then if they say yes, you say, okay, get all the details of their Myrtle Beach trip. And then when you call them, you know, you send them the big picture video and see if that's something that they're interested in. And if they're interested, great. If not, you're still going to book their trip to Myrtle Beach. That's great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Any other questions, anybody? Yes. Good morning. Hi, Joseph. This is this is Joe Biggs. Um, I would like for you to go back over um being a travel business owner and being a rep, a marketing rep. Again, um the script that you use with that. Yeah, so when people <clears throat> ask me what I do, I typically say I am a marketing rep that sells home-based travel businesses, allowing people to save money on their travel, earn extra income, and really just live their best life. Sometimes I say live their best life. Sometimes I say um, create residual income. Um, you know, it just depends on who my prospect is. But I say I'm a marketing rep that sells home-based travel businesses, allowing people to save money on their travel, earn extra income and travel more or travel better or live their best life or you know create residual income something something to that effect depending on who i'm speaking with all right thank you i appreciate that this has been very helpful you are very welcome thank you good morning director Burke. hey bobby great well first of all i want to thank you for doing this because i've shot away from social media because I didn't want to seem desperate or hokey or corny. Um, but the, the scripts definitely um, helped me out in being able to peek. Um, as you can see, I'm on the bus travel. <laughs> With uh, <laughs> a bus load of kids and three business partners. So uh, we actually just arrived at Kings of Me in Virginia, but I definitely want to thank you so much for doing this this morning. Oh, it's my pleasure. Have fun at Kings Dominion. I love Ooh, Kings Dominion. <laughs> Hi, Tanisha. Hi. How are you? Fabulous. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank, thank you for this training and taking your time out of busy Saturday. You could have been doing anything else, but you took the time to help us. And I too, you know, was I'm, I've never been a big Facebooker. So this was huge for me to, for you to do this training as well as some other people, right? You know, so now I have that gateway to say, okay, now I can can go back fix a few things right you know if you don't you don't know what you don't know if you're not right. on Facebook first. so this was huge for me and I appreciate your time you know um, helping us out with this thank you Tanisha it's my pleasure this believe it or not my favorite part of this business is training I love yes. training I love well you can tell I love to talk too right, right? but I love the <laughs> training um, because I want people to be excited about this business. You know, this is right. a once in a lifetime opportunity. And if there's right. something that I can say to someone and it clicks and they can take right. it and run with it, absolutely. I get really, absolutely. really excited. So this will absolutely help you get to two stars hey, so way quicker than it took to get to one star. I promise you that. 
just run with it. I will, Tisha. Thank you so much. You know, You're we welcome. appreciate you. You're and welcome. I do love you, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> have a great day, Tanisha. You too. Anyone else have any questions? All right. No, going once, going twice. I have a question. So at, on Facebook, you must be at your 5,000 capacity, correct? Almost always, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I that was it. having to, from time to time, I delete people. So typically, um, what I do is like, you know how Facebook will show when it's somebody's birthday? Mm -hmm. people's birthdays are today so i have a little script that i private message them i never do the happy birthday on their wall i private message them because it increases my algorithm because i'm engaging with them so i have a little script that i do for that and if the following year comes around and they haven't been engaging with me then for their birthday i delete them. okay that's my birthday <laughs> present for them i delete them um okay but what's what's cool about that so there is a young lady who lives in maryland and i friended her i'm trying to remember why i friended her um but i friended her she lives in maryland what does she do she is a she works at a communications company and so I just friended her randomly. Well, then her birthday came up. And so I sent her a birthday message and I'll share with you guys what my birthday message is. I do, oh my God, have you heard? It's a national holiday. Happy birthday, so-and-so. I hope you are having an amazing day. Any special plans or going anywhere special? So this particular person responded. She said, hey, Tanisha, and thank you for your birthday wishes. I did a few little things, but my big trip is next month to the Cayman Islands. So her birthday was in March. And I said, oh, how nice. I said, oh, how nice. Just you or a group of friends? I have to ask, how did you book it? And she said, the resort is a timeshare and it was only $200 for seven days. And my flight was under $600 with American Airlines. And I said, sweet deal, enjoy. And she said, laugh out loud, yes, it was. That was March 26th. This Friday, she messages me and she says, hey, Tanisha, can you tell me more about this opportunity? Please and thank you. She gives me her phone number. She says, I'm in the Cayman Islands until Monday, April 29th. Can you call or text me after that date? My email is, so she gave me her number, her email. I said, absolutely, sis. Check out this video, write down any questions, and I will call you on Tuesday the 30th if that works for you. So I sent her the big picture video. And then I said, enjoy the Cayman. And she said, works fine. The investment is $200. I said, yes, then $60 a month. I said, our compensation plan is the most aggressive in the industry. I resigned from my full-time corporate job after just 20 months of working the travel business part-time and now earning blah, blah, annually individual <laughs> income after just 30 months. And that's it. So she's in a Cayman. And that's only because I randomly friended her and sent her a private message on her faith in Messenger for her birthday. But now, because I did that, of course she was checking out my page, right? And she sees that I'm in a travel business. So, um, those are the sorts of things that happen. So, yeah. And even with that birthday script, you know, they tell me what they're going to do with their birthday. And then sometimes at the end, I will say, let me find my birthday script. You know, they might say, oh, I'm having dinner. My husband's taking me out for dinner or something. And then I say, well, I hope you have a fantastic day. And if you decide you want to start planning a nice birthday getaway for next year, I'll be happy to help you plan it. Enjoy your day. Right? So you kind of bring them over to the travel side, but it's now on their mind and stuff. And they're going to definitely check out my page because of what I said. They're going to be like, oh, she must be a travel agent. Let me see. And then they see all of these things, you know, 
make sure you're using your personal page to really get the word out, like provide valuable, valuable information. Do some of you, you any of you ever check your matrix tree? Have any of you? Yes. Okay. So you know, looking at your matrix tree, you could see people who have quit your business and how many ITAs they have in their matrix, right? Money that nobody's getting, right? We all have that. So here's an idea. I did this and um, it was very, very powerful. But I found the meme, and you guys can go to my personal page to see this, but I found the meme that said, nothing is more expensive than a missed opportunity and so this is what the post says it says so i just checked my back office and the fourth person i brought into the business back in june of 2016 quit shortly after they got started had they stayed the course they would be earning 484 dollars a month in residual income just based off of my efforts alone that's just one of eight streams of income, shaking my damn head. And then I got the face palm, right? And then I said, how many of you could use an extra $484 a month from a one-time $200 investment? Imagine if you were the fourth person I spoke to about this business. Would you have told me yes or no? It's not too late to make a decision that could change your life. Don't continue to have a poor mentality passing over opportunities repeatedly. The opportunity of a lifetime must be seized during the lifetime of the opportunity. If you would like to claim my next available spot, private message me, right? That is a very powerful message. Um, 29 people liked the post and I had someone who's actually in another travel network marketing company say, wow, shaking my head. Um, and another business partner said, wow, can you put me in his or her spot, please and thank you. But the point is, the 29 people that like the post, like I'm gonna go through it, and the ones that are not business partners, I'm gonna use the Just Ask Peak Interest script. So you know how Facebook has, um, shows you what you did a year from now, two years ago, right, not a year from now, but a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, Go look at some of your other posts that you've done about the business and people who have liked it, use the peak act, the Just Ask Peak Interest script on them. I also do that too. Because at some point they liked what you said, right? They were intrigued. Some people are really shy to you know, reach out to you, so you gotta prospect them and reach out to them. So anybody who has ever liked or commented on any of your business posts, go back and use the Just Ask Peak Interest script on them. That's great, thank you so much. You're welcome. I have, a, I have another question, this is Joe Biggs. Yes. Um, you, you talk about your algorithms. Can you give us some, some uh, ideas that we can use outside of sending birthday messages in, in their messenger to help um, get our algorithms up? Go live. Every okay. time, yes, videos is where it's at. Go live several times a week, um, and that will increase your algorithm. Right before you go live, you want to engage with people. So right before you go live, find 20 people to like or put some hearts or comment on their posts, and then go live, right? While you're okay. going live, also shout people out. Hey, John, thanks for joining. Hey, Mary, how you doing? Get people to comment on your live. And, you know, sometimes you may ask them a question, you know, just to get people to engage. And then once you finish your live, go back and reply to everyone that made a comment. And that increases your algorithm because now you force their engaging with you you're engaging with them, it's a video, and that increases your algorithm a lot. So going live, um, if not every day, you know, at least three or four times a week. Even if like your morning post is a quick going live saying, hey everybody, happy Tuesday, 
you know, I hope everyone has an amazing day. Stay positive. Go after your goals. And let's do it again tomorrow. Boom. Right? That was like a 15-second live. But you went live. People are going to start looking and commenting, saying, good morning, good morning, good morning. And you're going to respond back, good morning. How are you? Hope you have a great day. Going live is what increases your algorithm a lot. And more people will see your stuff. I can't tell you how many times, countless times, when I've spoken to people for the three-way call, they say, you kept showing up on my newsfeed. You kept showing up on my newsfeed, right? And they look at that as a sign of God telling them, uh, you need to reach out to her because I keep throwing her up in your face on your newsfeed. You need to you know, connect with her. And that's how they look at it because I keep showing up on their newsfeed. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Tanisha. Yes, I love all these questions. That means you guys are good. I love it. I'm excited. Tanisha, could you explain how to send a video um, through Messenger? How the peak interest, the peak, uh, the peak interest. Uh... Yeah, so if you, I have it saved in a script. But if you download the app Vimeo, because all of the Planet Marketing videos are in V-I-M-E-O. So if you download Vimeo then, um, and then do a search for Planet Marketing, they're all in there. So I don't know if you can see it. This is what the Vimeo app looks like. Mm -hmm. And so when you click on it, V-I-M-E-O. Um, when you click on it, you can do a search for Planet Marketing and subscribe to their channel. And it's just like, Vimeo is just like YouTube, right? So Planet Marketing does not upload their videos on YouTube. They, up, they use Vimeo instead. So you could just go to Vimeo, do a search for Planet Marketing's channel, subscribe to the channel, and every single Planet Marketing video is in there. But again, you can also um, use the app to send the video to yourself, right? And have that link. So at least you'll know that someone opened it and watched it, but you won't know who if you didn't get their phone number. So that's why I said for the preview, this is why personally, when I'm sending just the preview, I don't bother to send that through the app. They're either gonna watch it or they're not, I don't care. Yeah, because I'm going to follow up with them and say, hey, are you, after watching the videos, are you interested? If they say yes, I know they've watched the video. I'm going to set the appointment, get their phone number, and now I'm going to use the app to send the big picture video from the app, right? So I'm really only concerned with, did they watch the big picture video? If they didn't watch, you know, the preview, I don't care because they're going to, if they didn't watch it, then their chances are they're going to tell me they're not interested. So good. I help tell me quickly so I can move on to the next person. But yeah, Vimeo is where you can um, download it, share it easily. Thank you, Tanisha. You're welcome. <laughs> Akila, I love your background. <laughs> Thank you. So you do that? one more question. I, I'm playing with it while I'm on the phone. Um, I went to the little three dots on the right-hand side where it says more and virtual background. Oh. And if you click on that plus, you can go to your photos and it picks one. I picked one out of my actual photos. I, so mine doesn't show that. So I must have to be a guest to do that. But I love that. Thank you. So my question, um, and this is a question that's been asked probably at every training, but let's say, do you go through the script? Um, you send the preview videos. They say they're interested. You send the big picture video and you see that they've only watched, let's say they watch 45% of the video. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm not going to get them on the call with um, one of my senior friends. Um, business partners because they haven't watched enough but I mean do we do we continue to engage with them or do we so, say okay you plan <clears throat> what I do is about an hour before the appointment time I message them 
Hey, John, just wanted to confirm our appointment for six o'clock. I noticed you haven't watched 100% of the video. Please make sure you do so before our appointment time. Okay, so you don't make it, a, you don't keep it a secret that you can, that you actually know how much of the video that they've watched. Nope. Okay, nope. that's good. I'm, I'm straight up, I'm red. I'm a red. I'm straight I, up no I like I see you've only watched 40% of the video. Um, our appointment's coming up at 6 o'clock. Please make sure you watch it. If not, we're going to have to reschedule. And I let them know, if you ain't watched the video, we're going to reschedule if you're still interested. But we can't have this call if you haven't taken the time, 10 minutes, to watch a damn video. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Be a boy. You drop I'm going to be a boy. Well, I am kind of blunt. But I'm just asking, and maybe I should message you with this. If you happen to drop someone, I've been following you, but I don't see any of your, your information. So, so um, are you still following? Yes. And you can't but I have my stuff? And, and, no. Yeah, private message me. Okay. Like I said, it's, and I apologize to all of you. It is not because I don't love you all, but I'm always maxed out at 5,000 people, and you guys can't help me get to my next level. So I'm, always, <laughs> I'm having to delete the business partners. I try to only keep the people that are direct to me as friends so I can see what they're doing and stuff. But um, and right now I'm maxed out. So every so many months, I kind of go through to try to open up a hundred spots. Hey, so Tanisha. Be patient with me. Yes. Hello. Who was that? Someone just called my name. Hello. Hey. Yes, it's Sheika. Hey, Sheika. Look, so I, when I... Hello. I just want to let them know I follow Tanisha and I put hers as a priority. So, you know, when you follow someone, you can set it as a as default and or see first. Yes. I put Tanisha's as seeing hers first. So I always see her live. So you may want to change that on um when you follow her. Great, okay. great. I love yes, 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 she yes. always posts great. Know how to do that, what she's talking about? No, I don't, but I'm gonna go try it. All right, I'll call her. let me pull it up to show you. Uh, so let's say, no, I think it's gonna be on a, let me see. Like I'm following, <clears throat> ah, I was trying to hit carnival. Let me see something. So Ray Higdon, I'm following him. So here, as long as I click on C first, then everything in my timeline, he, his stuff is going to show up first. You guys see that? So when I go to my news feed, <clears throat> so one thing about Facebook is it is a time vacuum. And you can get so caught up in people's nonsense, you know, stupid dog and cat videos and stuff. And you're like, I didn't come on here for all of that. And now an hour has gone by. I got sucked into it. So if you set, and I don't know, there's a limit to how many pages you can set as C first. I don't know. It might be 10. It might be 12. I, I don't remember. But I have mine set as C first. So the first things that I see are my C first. So successful stay at home moms group, right? I love this group because there's like a gazillion people in there. Um, celebrity cruises, right? Royal Caribbean, the Venetian. The reason why I have all of these suppliers at C first is because I grab content to put in my travel group because I don't have a lot of time. And you can tell it's a C first because it has a star here. So if I decide I don't want to see them anymore, 
then I can stop seeing them as a C first. Wait, where did you go? Click. What What did you do to say to get to C first? To see it. Well, to to mark it. Oh, right there. Okay. Okay. Oh, so when you're following them, so. So this is Ray Higdon's page right here. Oh, see first, why does the mom say that? Okay, I'll get with Shika and she can help me figure yeah. it out. I don't want to so take it, up too much time. Yeah, it kind of depends. I think it, it's where you follow them. Once you click on follow, you, you'll see an option to see first or something like that. Okay. okay. Right? So a lot of times, because I have, you know, our suppliers, um, you know, any network marketing people, I have them as C first. So I typically don't see, a, like I have Planet Marketing as C first, right? And then I'll start seeing all the other stuff, right? Eric Thomas is a C first, right? Because I might want to use some of his stuff to post. Travel and Leisure is an awesome one to have as a C first, especially to get content for your travel groups. So I have them as a C first, All right? My husband, I'm following him as a C first. And then I'll start seeing other people's stuff, right? So it'll take a while. So I don't get caught up in a lot of the, <clears throat> you know, the nonsense stuff. I don't, I don't, I never see it because I have all business related stuff, stuff that's gonna help me grow my business or stuff that's gonna help me market as my C first. So, so many times, even my best friend will be like, did you see my post? I'll be like, nope, <laughs> I didn't see it, right? So I have to specifically go to her page to see what she posted. So C okay. first is, is really good for that. Okay. Any other questions? This is Joe Biggs again. It's my last one. Okay. As we know, success leads clues, and we're really playing a big game of um, follow the leader. So with that being said, with the content that is on your page, um, like you mentioned, the matrix situation, um, do you have a problem with us taking something like that, tweaking it to fit our needs, and posting it on our page? Absolutely not. Definitely, <clears throat> you want to never share because the moment you share, now you're, you're marketing somebody else's business, right? And, exactly. you're, and you're reducing your credibility. But yes, you copy, you tweak it, and you paste it. Absolutely. You can always take anything that I do <clears throat> and never comment on another business partner's, can I repost this? Can I share it? Like, don't do that. Don't do that. It, okay. it, it just, just it's common that like you said it's an adult game of follow the leader so we all take each other's stuff anyway you know we know that you're not it's not here with this business um what do they call it plagiarism is not a bad thing here <laughs> we want you to plagiarize right so just copy and paste change it up a little bit and you know put your own spin on it but yeah absolutely if you like this um you know this um picture take the picture and write something a little bit different on it right my version of that um you know this i just randomly post just you know take it and put your own spin on it and change the background but yeah if you if you like that post i did um you know just take it and you know don't make it seem that that's your person but maybe you have someone in your back office that you know quit the business and, and use them as an example. Or you tell my story and you say, you know, this is what's going on in my company. That sort of thing, right? May, and if you go, another place that I go to find really good memes is Pinterest. Like I got this off of Pinterest. All right, thank you, that's, that's helpful. You're welcome. Any other questions? No? All right. 
Well, that concludes the training. Again, I'm going to um, upload this to YouTube today, and then I will um, share it in the Legacy Group for everyone to check out. All right. Thank you guys for rocking with me this morning and have an amazing, amazing day. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> you too. Appreciate it, Tanisha. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Tanisha. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you again. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, guys.